I'm uh, pretty excited to say that I'll be playing my football for the Nittany Lions at Penn State University. So uh, Matt Yanofsky here with NUC TV with uh, Mr. Gene Haplia. Gene, uh, big day for your son, committed to Penn State University. Uh, talk, tell about the process, not only recruiting, uh, what it was, you were talking to your son about all of the different schools. You know, many great choices out there. I know Florida State, Clemson, right. uh, I know Rutgers was throwing there. Just, uh, sure. Tell us about the progress. Thanks. Yeah, it was uh, it was a big it was a big uh, experience, a long long process for us. Uh, we did a lot of research. Uh, we didn't have uh, kids go through this before, so we had to learn from scratch and uh, did a lot of research, did a lot of reading. Uh, uh, Kevin got involved with uh, with the process uh, at the earliest stage uh, back in his freshman year when he w attended the first national underclass combine in the spring of his freshman year. Uh, so we were we were well on our way to figuring out the ins and the outs of the process, uh, and I have to give uh, not just because you're standing here interviewing me, but I have to give uh, the whole Nuke organization uh, a lot of a lot of thanks and a lot of credits. Coach Schumann has uh, has been as much part of this process as anybody. Uh, Kevin participated this last winter in the Army All American Combine down in San Antonio. Uh, the Schumann organization helped put together his highlights for his junior year to get them there in time. So that was a fantastic piece of support, uh, and we've just enjoyed the we've enjoyed the people as much as the process throughout all of this. I mean, Kevin is uh, for a 17-year-old kid to have the opportunity to meet the kinds of people he's met. Uh, it's like a who's who. It, it's a it's a who's who of, of college, not just football, college sports. Um, We've seen places that are iconic, Death Valley, uh, Beaver Stadium, you know, Happy Valley, you name it. Uh, we've been uh, to the swamp. We've been to a lot of those places that are uh, the, the, the flag bearers of college football. And we've met, we've met the people behind them, uh, sat with Coach Meyer, sat with Coach Swinney down at Clemson, Coach Ciano at Rutgers, uh, you mentioned. And, I mean, Coach Paterno, obviously a, a legend. Uh, as, as well as all the rest of them. I mean, I could go up and down, and I don't want to omit anybody, but uh, of all, all the schools we visited, about a dozen to a dozen and a half over a couple of year period, um, it's, been, it's been just uh, uh, one great story after another. Uh, we had a lot of homework to do. Kevin had a lot of homework to do. Uh, he had a lot of choices to make. We tried to just surround him as a family and as a coaching staff. Uh, here at school with people that could offer him help when he needed it. Um, we were, we were kind of letting him find his own way, and when we thought he was going to bump into a wall, he kind of stepped in and said, hey, you might want to think about that. But uh, for anybody thinking about going into the process, I would say get as much help as you can up front as soon as you possibly can. Obviously, the Schumann's organization is chock full of, of people who have been there and done that uh, without a doubt. Uh, and, a, and as good a place to start as, as any, in my opinion, um, uh, as well as just doing research uh, on the Internet, doing research. If your school's not a big school, uh, don't let that stop you. If, you're, if your program's not a perennial state champion uh, or one of the top five or six names that everybody knows, don't let that stop you. Uh, get advice from as many people as you can and just get out there and, uh, and start beating the bushes. Um, see as many schools as you can in the process and learn as you go. Take notes, learn, and communicate. I think communication was the biggest single thing that helped us along the way. A uh, couple, couple of the coaches mentioned it today, uh, staying in touch with people, letting everybody know where you stand, and then just as important, communicating with the colleges. They need to know where you're going. They need to know how you feel, what more information you might need how you feel about things. So communication above all else uh, is the biggest, I think, lesson that Kevin learned. He, he grew a lot in the interpersonal uh, part, of his, uh, part of his personality, I think. Um, you talked about the communication. Uh, I mentioned a couple schools. There's many more we didn't mention. Mm -hmm. Rivals.com had him as one of the, you know, the better tight ends in the entire country. Mm -hmm. You had many big schools. You know, I named a couple. There's many more. How did you end up picking Penn State as, as some of the, you know, over some of these other schools, which are you know, just as highly rated or you know, right in that same sure. area where they have, have had guys make it to the pros, you know, successful pros, you know, a top head coach, you know, as the you know, way Penn State is with 70, 80, 100,000 people there, huge TV ratings. What made you pick Penn State over maybe a couple of the other schools? 
Well, I think I, I, you know, I'd have you'd have to ask Kevin for that real hard answer. I would say a lot of what went into his decision was the overall feeling of of not just the uh, where the team stood uh, and the team's history, but uh, uh, the coaching staff that he was going to be working with, the campus, how he felt around the campus. As he mentioned, we've he visited there a, a couple of times. There were some schools that quite uh, just unfortunately we didn't have multiple opportunities, multiple visits uh, to get there, uh, to get back on. I don't think it would have made a difference, quite honestly. Uh, I, I think we saw and, and, and felt everything that there was to see and feel in the short visits that we, that we did accomplish. Uh, I think it was just a combination of those things that all kind of came together for Kevin. Uh, you're right. We went to some astounding places. We went, I mean, when you're talking about playing tight end, the first school that pops into everybody's mind is Miami. Uh, we were there. We were on Hurricane Drive. We saw the facilities, met with Coach Shannon. Uh, something just, something didn't gel for Kevin when we left the, that, that visit. I don't know exactly what it was. He had a hard time putting his finger on it sometimes. But I think Penn State had the combination of, uh, he wanted to include his family in his career. Uh, not that going to Florida or Florida State or Miami would have kept us from, from watching him. But he was taking a look at all of those things, I think, and the fact that it was easy on us uh, to get to get there uh, also played into it a little bit. Uh, a final question for you is, you know, you said some nice things about our organization. We appreciate that. Uh, I guess specifically, how would you say that the uh, National Underclassmen Combine organization specifically helped Kevin uh, either with the recruiting process or, you know, step himself up as a football player coming through our camp sure. uh, in 2008, our tight end MVP at the Ultimate 100 camp, which is only for the invites, uh, the best of right. athletes. What did our organization do to help your son, uh, you know, either step himself up as a football player or you know, end up at Penn State University uh, following his 2010 high school season? A uh, couple of ways, two things, and, and you mentioned them both. Uh, in the recruiting process, they include uh, uh, NCSA as, as a partner, uh, and, and you're free, you know, when you attend the, the uh, Schumann events, uh, you're always exposed to the latest and greatest thinking in the recruiting world. You're free to participate with NCSA. There's, it's not a pressure situation, but they they share uh, uh, just unbelievable amounts of information just to the to the groups of parents that are there. So uh, from the recruiting standpoint, it was uh, it was a wonderful resource for us. From the athletic standpoint, I think the best thing that it did for Kevin right off the bat in his freshman year was give him his own internal um, barometer on where he stood amongst his peers. And, and that's the most important thing. The worst thing that a child, uh, an athlete, or a parent can do is have a misperception of where they fit into things. So being able to go out and compete against like-aged kids and not against kids two years older or three years younger uh, was outstanding because it gave Kevin a real good foundation, real good setting for where he stood, how he matched up, and where he needed to go to get better. So it was, it was great on both ends, athletically as well as on the recruiting end. Exactly. That's something else you push as well. Uh, academics, Penn State's a good academic school as well. Yeah. Mr. Haplia, big day for you as well as your son, Kevin. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing him on the field in Penn State University. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.